Hey guys, so this weekend we are going away on like a girls cozy weekend up north in Cumbria. We are going to be going to a place called Pure Lakes. Um, they're basically like a skincare brand who all of their skincare is like naturally formulated, natural ingredients, it's all made in Cumbria. So it's one of those brands that not a lot of people have heard about, but we're gonna go and see where it's made, how it's made, we're gonna explore that kind of side of things. We have got a night in a lovely hotel, we're gonna have some lovely food and just kind of, yeah, have a nice girls weekend away that isn't of the traditional hardcore type, but very much relaxed and chilled. Um, the weather is like super windy right now, so we can't really go outdoors and do too much, but it's gonna be fun anyway. Way, and I thought that I would take you along for the ride and that you would enjoy seeing what we get up to on our weekend away. Last year we went to the eye. I remember you smile reflecting the light. We didn't care what tomorrow would bring. There was only right now the sun was alive. I can still see you walk down the shore holding all the secrets get me waiting for the answer the answer Okay, so we have just stopped at the service station for snacks. Now, this chocolate I have become hardcore addicted to, guys. Like, I'm getting through several bars of this a, like every single day right now. So, we picked up some uh, snacks for the way and we are good to go. I think we're about halfway now. Are we like near Leeds? Yeah. We're near Leeds and we are about an hour and a half away, I think. So, we've got a little bit of a way to go. Um, but it's actually like sunshine now, whereas we've just driven through like torrential rain so hopefully the rest of the journey will be dry even if it is a little bit windy so i'm hoping to see some like nice scenery other than the motorway soon because so far my first impression of driving up north is just motorway motorway, motorway. The answer, we can do it all again i know somewhere down the line we're meant to come back home we can do We are going to go have a chat about the products, see some products. It is super windy here. Um, very, very windy, very cold. I have actually got a hat which I'm going to need to wear in a moment, but it's so pretty here, guys. Like, everything is super, super pretty. Like, I'm a city girl, so I'm not used to this, but it's just so picture perfect here. Like, look at the mountains up here already. Like, I just called that a mountain. It's probably just a hill. Is that a hill? What would you call that? A mound? A hill. To us city girls, that's a mountain. So this is Hawk's Head Beer. Might have to make a little pit stop there later. We are now just going into more coffee. We're gonna have um, a meeting with the owner of Pure Lakes and have some coffee and cake time. Those look so good. Sarah just told me that apparently when you come into a coffee shop up north it is a northern thing to be able to order a tea by the mug rather than a teapot. I'm very much used to a teapot but I'm down very much for a mug of tea as a little pit stop. Last day, saw you in town, didn't care to say hi, you were in a rush. Let's say I'll see you again, would you care to sit down, or was it just a crash? I see you walk down the street, holding in all the secrets, get me waiting for the answer, the answer. We can do it all again, I know.
been having our cruise if it wasn't cooled off due to the high winds. Sad times. Look how flooded it is. The weather is not good. Look at that. I mean, it would have been so fun to go on a cruise, but I know it's mental, isn't it? I think this would be such a fun thing to do if you did come for the weekend. This here is, you can walk all of this bit. It's new, it's pebbles. Oh my gosh. And it's just completely flooded. Because I've got a picture. Oh, the boys would have like so loved a little cruise, but with it being this windy. In half a mile, oh. turn left onto A592. The sat nav is having a sad day. Wow, look how beautiful it is though. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. Is there anyone behind us? Look how beautiful that is. I'm so sad we can't go on a cruise because of the weather today, but oh, the scenery around here is gorgeous. Okay, so we've just come for lunch and I ordered local Cumberland sausage. And guys, this is what I got. There are so many in here. This is all for one person. Thank you very much. And I also got chips. Sarah got the respectable adult food. <laughs> I decided I wanted the children's menu, very evidently. And also a passion fruit gin because apparently you can't go anywhere with me without having gin. So we are just in the, I want to say village, but it may be a town of Windermere. We have stopped for some lunch. This is the scenery. It is like very, very misty today like completely overcast but like on a clear day i bet that view is immense also it's super flooded this is like a path that has just completely flooded but it's absolutely beautiful here but yes yeah, so the views around here are absolutely beautiful i can imagine in the summer it looks gorgeous around here but it is mega overcast at the moment i've also got like killer toothache which is not not the one but look over here so pretty I think I just want to come and live in the Lake District. It doesn't feel like part of the UK, but then again, I say that as somebody who's never been up here before. Last year we went to the earth. I remember you smile reflecting the light. We didn't care what tomorrow would bring. There was only right now the sun was. Oh my days! Wow. Oh my god. down there. Yeah it does. <laughs> Can you see anything coming? I can't even oh, see the road! Okay, let's let's not die. Oh yeah, this is the right way. I see if this is a road. <laughs> it just looks like a slide. Okay, we are actually nearly there now. What happens if you do run out of petrol out of here? Okay. Out here, seriously though. Uh, <coughs> I mean, I've still got a quarter of a tank, but it's amazing how quickly that gets used when you reined in. Oh, I always think like men walking by themselves. What's your game plan? <laughs> who have you murdered, or who are you gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you coming, fella? I mean, you could have literally stopped before. Turn right. Okay, you turn right. It's been mean to them, and then I'm like, thanks! There we go, look, Langdale Hotel. There it is. Our home for the night, the Langdale Hotel. You will arrive at L A 22 JD. We are at the Langdale Hotel now, which has the most amazing backdrop. It's crazy beautiful around here. Like, and actually behind me here, up here, there are just hills, mountains. It is beautiful. So we're gonna go check in now and then check out the
Okay, so this is our waterside room at the hotel, which is absolutely beautiful. So we've got the TV, some really lovely like furniture throughout in here. The bed is just gorgeous. Looks so, so soft. We have then also got our robes and slippers which is quite cool and then how cool is this chair my kids would love that that's so cute but then this is the best bit guys this is the view from our room right outside on the balcony absolutely amazing like it is absolutely absolutely pouring at the moment or while just stopping so I would take you out there which I will do in a moment but in fact maybe it has stopped a little bit now you can hear it that is right outside our room how amazing is this So beautiful here, right outside the room. I am flipping a bit. It's a mural of this. <laughs> Sarah's in love with the mural on the ceiling above the bed, which I can't actually figure out. Like that's like plant life or something. Yeah, I feel like it's outside, but inside. Trekker. <laughs> Sarah's uh, not going to be an art critic anytime soon. Uh, over here we have got the most beautiful lamp as well, I quite like that. That's really cute actually. We've got all the details about where we're going to eat. This is all of the details about the spa which looks absolutely phenomenal I must admit. Like we wanted to go for a spa treatment but they didn't have any availability while we were here but it looks just gorgeous and there were so many people there as we drove past. You can totally see why, because it looks the best. Look, on the pillow, we get Kendall mint cake, because we're near Kendall. How cool is that? Okay, let's look at the bathroom and see the lovely Pure Lakes product selection. So exactly like the guys told us, all of their products are stocked here. So we've got the hand and body lotion there. We have then in the shower, we've got the shampoo, shower gel, and the conditioner, which I'm very much looking forward to trying. There is also some of the soap. This is the grapefruit and lemongrass. They were actually making some of this soap, or they had just made when we got there this morning. So it's so cute that there's a little one here, which I really like. And it smells so, so yummy. You can definitely smell that lemongrass in there. It's got like a real, like fruity element, but. I actually wish I'd got some when we were at um, Pure Lakes this morning because the soaps just smell so good. Just seen this as well. Careful, these bars get hot. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, so I feel like I need to show you my book choice and Sarah's. So mine is Reasons to Stay Alive, which I heard was very, very good. Okay. Sarah's is called The Like Switch, which is about making people like you. <laughs> so clearly we wanted to mot us motivate ourselves this weekend when the reality is all we'll probably do is talk about keeping up with the Kardashians and pretend that we're actually really deep by leaving these on our nightstand <laughs> for the cleaner to see in the morning. <laughs> it's very much appropriate to me. Uh, I quite like that. And we have got a whole range to pick from. I'm going to struggle to pick just one delicious meal. Personally, actually think that Sarah's is more appropriate to me. This one's probably more appropriate to her, so I feel like we should swap right now. So on the menu we have got an I'm vegan section, we've got an I'm vegetarian section and then something called I'm flexitarian section which is really good so they've got loads of breakdown, um, super easy for anybody to stay and eat and enjoy food here which I think is really really accessible for pretty much everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. I love it. Jenny, 
So our starters have arrived and seeing as we are in Cumbria I have gone for mini Cumberland sausages. Sarah has got the ham hock I think. Oh, focus, focus, focus. So we've got ham hock and we are gonna dig in. Okay, so main course is we have got a burger and chips for me because I am feeling that way. And Sarah has got crab tacos, which look amazing. And also a little bit like she's just caught them in the lake and put them on a plate. But she's happy about it and that's the main thing. So uh, let's dig in. Good morning from the Lake District. As you can hear, my voice is pretty much gone. I was coming down with like a throat issue before we got here anyway, but... It seems to have disappeared in all of the talking, but we are up and ready to go for breakfast and I just can't get over this view, which is obviously not showing, but let me show you. I know I showed you this yesterday, guys, but I mean that right outside your room is just... I don't think I've ever had a better view from a hotel room before and all through the night like you can hear it and it was just so relaxing like I've got an app that I pay for to like have like white noise in the background to help me sleep and this was just like the perfect alternative it's so relaxing just hearing the water all night it was amazing I loved it so we are now going for some breakfast um I'm super hungry I don't know if I can vlog on the way, which is what I was going to plan to do because it's actually chucking it down, which is not unusual in the Lake District, I have now learned, because it's rained since we got here. So you probably can't actually see because the camera's not picking up, but it is chucking it down, so I'm not sure I'm going to vlog, but there is an umbrella. I could make this work. Okay, so as you guys know, we are staying at the Langdale Hotel and they are very equipped to deal with the rain, very evidently, and have umbrellas by the door so I found this which means I can vlog and you guys can see a little bit more of the surroundings it's very very kind of beautiful around here I've just seen Sarah at the other end of the car park who had to go and rescue her coat from the car um, but now we're gonna get some breakfast and I'm so hungry but I'm gonna have to just keep talking right now because I don't have enough spare hands to turn the camera off so I'm just gonna have to put up with my jabbering Brilliant, thank you. I've gone for the waffles for breakfast. Sarah has gone for a much healthier option of, did you go for the salmon? Salmon and scrambled eggs. I'm the child of the party, very clearly, uh, and needed my waffles. I love fresh orange juice for breakfast when I come away. Thank you very much. I swear it's only when you come away on holiday that you have fruit juice and tea because I definitely don't do that at home. I literally have one drink and that is it and then just feel awake for the day. Okay, so we may just eat one of everything for breakfast today. And then over here we've got jam, cold selection, all of the fruit. To give breakfast but I'm really impressed although I may come back I only had about five breakfasts okay so breakfast has just arrived and I went for the waffle with mascarpone and a compote so I'm apparently the child Sarah once again went for the adult choice which is uh, smoked salmon scrambled egg you know like an adult's choice when you're away for the weekend and I went for the waffle because I am the child between us but it looks good this is just course one of breakfast because you can never have too much breakfast when you're away so we are about to check out but the weather has finally cheered up there's actually some sun up there but the most important thing is that there is no rain now but I am so in love with this place it's just so authentic and rustic and just it's just beautiful so we're just gonna have a little mooch around our room was that white building up there um so we're just gonna have a little look around Last year we went to the earth I remember you smile reflecting the light We didn't care what tomorrow would bring It was only right now the sun was alive I can still see you walk down the shore Holding in all the secrets kept me waiting for The answers The answers We can do it all again I know So we're down the line with me I 
thinking in the summer this would be beautiful. It was like a fire pit for the evening. You can just sit. This is outside the stove restaurant and there is all of this beautiful scenery around here. So you can imagine like sitting on here on these tables in the summer. I bet it's absolutely beautiful when it's not raining, when it's warm. And this is what you'd get to just kind of take in all in the hotel. It's just beautiful. Honestly, I don't think I've ever stayed in a more beautiful hotel in the UK. It's just, yeah. And like the attention to detail here is just wonderful. So we are actually about to check out now. And obviously we did want to go to the spa, but that hasn't quite happened because they couldn't fit us in. But we've kind of had a little walk around. The scenery is just as beautiful as you'd expect in the Lake District. And this hotel is just, they are trying to make a real effort to be sustainable. Um, a lot of the things that they are doing, for example, like the toiletries in the bathroom in the rooms, you're not allowed to take them with you. Um, and they're full size, so they can keep being refilled. They have all sorts of things in places to be sustainable. Lots of local produce. So it's very much a great place to stay if you really want to experience the Lake District in kind of all its glory, um, including where you're staying in your hotel. So definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Imagine waking up to that every day. Like if you live up here, like you are so blessed. 